Hello gaming fans, here we are, going to play some more Dwarf Fortress. Finally just had a uh, caravan show up. I believe the reason why they showed up is I finally got this other douchebag to leave. <clears throat> Hello, now I have because of the water coming down from this side, I can't get the freaking these things out of the way. But, it looks like the caravan's coming down just fine. So let's bring them some stuff over. First off... Let's make sure this crazy duchess, yeah, we can't freaking ex export any freaking amulets. Shocker. Oh, let's get rid of all this crap. Get rid of all of them. What else do we got? Cabinets, buckets, no. Cloth, no. Crowns. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of our crowns. We can always make more. A couple earrings, a bunch of silver stuff. I wanted to build a few things like that just to, uh, if anybody wanted some silver stuff, they could grab it. It's been in there long enough though now. If they didn't grab it, but now they ain't gonna grab it. Footwear, let's get rid of all this crap. Gonna have to make some more stuff here soon. I noticed a few people are starting to get. See them X's? If you never played this game before, them X's I mean it's starting to get worn. If it's a double, big double X, it means it's really getting worn. See a single X like that means it's like halfway worn. Don't want a dwarf wearing moldy old clothing. Looks like all the stuff that I have in stock here is worn down. Oh, there's some steel leggings that are good. Can't have that, dwarves. That's for the Queensland. Alright. Looks like they took a bunch of rings. So that means people are liking rings. We have to remember that. I'm sure I'll forget, though. Anything else that you want to get rid of? Not really. Just a whole bunch of barley wine and stuff. Got plenty of pots, Christ sakes. Whole bunch of rib. Oh, there we go. Let's see if they want to buy any. Sell the copies. See if they want to buy any uh, books. Get our literature out there. Not that it's any good stuff. Toys, no. Pretty sure I can't get rid of any. Weapon rise because stupid crazy lady. I know I have so many anvils, but you guys can have them. Can make more anytime I want. Alright, merchants, unload your stuff. Let's see what goodies you have. I say, hopefully, they ain't uh, running away already. Got a bunch of cheese and stuff for us. We haven't had a diplomat for a while. So I don't think we're gonna get one because technically he lives in the fort. <laughs> He's right here. This is his house. Really don't know how that works, but whatever. Oh, weapon smith, make us something good, buddy. this in the newer version here it'll tell you how much stuff you still got to bring yet and the old one you just kind of had to sit there and watch until they stopped bringing stuff yeah broker get your butter over here it's probably the queen yeah this is the queen <laughs> tell the thing doing business with the queen cooked a masterpiece some lime stew Mmm, yum, I guess. <laughs> Who knows the dwarves, what the heck they would freaking... Everyone likes something different. You think they would really like, like, the cave stuff, which is what they usually get, but they don't. They like, like, exotic stuff. Oh, well, she's conducting a meeting. Get your butter over here, Queenie. There's only two items to go. Mm. 
We'll just look up here and see if they picked up this stuff. Yeah, they sure did. Good. Yeah, come trade. I don't know where other objects are at. Smoothly, they're all they're, they're probably bringing it right there. Whatever it is, is heavy. Should drop it off. Yep. One more. Come on, kid. Bring some stuff over here. I don't know what I bought you. That's so heavy. All right. So everything. Man, worth a lot of stuff. Doriite is worth 3000 There's no way. Uh, we're not allowed to sell that stuff. Hmm. We're going to sell it anyway. I don't care what you say, Dwarf. Dwarf Queen. We're getting rid of it. Alright, what do you got that we want? We got plenty of instruments. We don't need no more goddamn animals, that's for sure. Want some dwarven ale? Probably already have a bunch of it, but I'll take some more. Uh, we'll buy your buckets. You almost never have too many damn buckets. There's a steel mace, and that's not really any good though. You want uh, heavy metals for your stuff? Here's a steel mail shirt. It's a pretty good one too. Not that I already have like an expert weaponsmith. Can make anything we want, or armor smith, I should say. They got anvils. I'm selling them anvils. Haha. <laughs> Meat? No. We might buy your fish, though. How much is that? That's not too bad. It's cheap enough. Yeah, we'll take your fish. Oh, yeah, we want your plump helms. We probably don't want any... Yeah, we don't want any plant stuff. We could buy it. You know, we'll buy the plants. Screw it. We got plenty of cash. They're making a heck of a profit off of us. Trousers, cheese, no. Dingo parchment sheet, now we got plenty of that kind of crap too. Alright, looks good to me. Trade it up. He's ecstatic? Good. Glad you're happy with it, my man. Alright, Queen, go back and do your thing. Oh, that's right, I was making some clay hives so we can, uh, start harvesting some honey now what I wanted to do for this episode was so there's a spoiler alert here if you guys don't want to hear about it skip ahead like five six minutes I don't know if it'll take me that long to say what it, what the spoiler is but ooh, lost my area I had to do that didn't I <laughs> all right here we go so over here I found some gem clusters. Now supposedly, well not supposedly, I know what this is. This is what they call a vault. And it has like, steel mace. Oh great, that's not really what we wanted. But anyway, it's a vault. And some it'll have, sometimes it'll have like really strong like, let me see if I can find it here. Let's make a short. So you see here where it says dark, crashing, ruddy, I don't know, rusted, probably not, but singing and stuff like that. Translucent metal sword. It's like metal of the gods, and that's what's in here. So we're going to try digging it up. <laughs> I did it last time and didn't have too much problems with it. We'll see what happens this time. But I did have this one dude came out of there, it was like a, I can't remember what it was called, like a dark pikeman or something like that. Hmm, he said this, there's, looks like lava in there. So we're going to dig a channel right here to see what happens. And we're going to bring our best unit of... What is up with you? Maybe we'll bring these guys and say they look like they're ready for action. They're not my best guys, but they're pretty close. We're going to bring them down here. 
Oh, I see, because these guys ain't training. I probably had them kill some. Let's try it again. Move right to here. That way, if we dig up anything crazy, hopefully... Oh, we got some more migrants, huh? I was at 200, and then I had freaking forgotten these attack happened. We didn't see it from last episode, so... Web Slinger came up from these bottom caverns, which was the only one I didn't have blocked off, which I do now, so we should be safe for now. However, if something comes that has wings, though, I'm in trouble. I still gotta finish it. I've just been lazy. He's coming. You are, buddy. Let's watch you. Looks like the military dwarves are quite a bit behind. Let's see what happens here, though. webs and it has wings. Where's it at? Oh god, it's it's in the bad spot too. Looks like it's really slow though. That's positive. This is the whole reason why I made March Dwarves though. They're good for taking out the web slingers because they can shoot them from a distance. I'm gonna watch this though real quick and then we're gonna go back to that Oh, there we go. Found some candy. So, obviously this is a spoiler. Sorry if I didn't have a chance to tell you, but... Raw Minium is like the best freaking metal in the game. But this is a good spot that we'll be able to... Uh, we'll be able to make a nice little kill box here. Alright, what am I looking for? Forgotten Beast, which one were you? Ketahulatha? <laughs> yeah, I can't speak dwarf, sorry. There's a general. Baroness of Gladswater and the diplomat. Though we can't do anything with diplomats anymore because they, uh. We are the diplomat, you know what I mean? We're the main main uh, city anymore. I think the only reason why I got it is because I made so much steel. One time I had like three or four hundred bars of it. Steel is worth a lot of uh, cash. Alright, you guys are no longer needed. So you can go back to training. Might need you if this thing comes over. It looks like it's going a different direction now. We'll take it. Just stay the hell away from our fort, buddy. Looks like even though he has wings, it doesn't seem like he's able to use them. There was another forgotten beast down here. Maybe he'll find it and they'll fight each other. Sure is freaky looking, huh? <laughs> he's got like a bunch of legs and stuff. Oh, there's a bat. Go kill that bat. I seen from the one forgotten beast that managed to get over my wall. We killed and uh, got a whole bunch of forgotten, be forgotten beast meat. I don't know what that would taste like, but someone brave enough to try it. Yeah, it appears like he can't get in there. See, I think these right here too are a way to get down into the bottom layers of the game. Little, they're like obsidian spires. Alright, looks safe enough. Let's see if we can find our freaking thing here. Yeah, there's the other forgotten beast. Not sure where there we are. See how I don't. It's only one wall high, so at some point, wow, this is a really big thing too. If they can fly, they can fly right over top of them walls. I have some traps here, but forgotten pieces aren't really susceptible to traps. You have to, uh, if they dodge onto a trap, then they can, they can grab them, but other than that, it won't grab them. Oh god, we got freaking water problems now. How nice. 
Alright, let me think. How do I want to make this kill box? I gotta be able to make a drawbridge. So if we go, let's see, right here. We'll make it make it pretty big. Make it all like that. And how are we gonna do this? Guess we'll do the same thing down there. Should have just did it both layers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna want to do it like this. We'll channel it all. There we go. So that'll make it all down into this room. And where the heck is my thing at? There it is. And the idea here is we're going to make, we're going to make a whole bunch of fortifications going into there so that my marks dwarves can shoot them up while they're trying to come out of the hole. I've done this before and been pretty successful, but in past versions there was like little bugs and stuff that would happen to make, that would absolutely like ruin your plans tell you the story about the one time I did it man it really freaking pissed me off so I had a really good plan I had I had accidentally screwed up my uh, drawbridge so I couldn't get the drawbridge working right however I had drawbridges at the very front of my uh, fort and also in the part going down into the fort so I just put them up and I had a couple like archery towers on the outside so the plan was to let the demons come up we we're gonna shoot them up out of the towers and as a numbers got thinned down we would um, send the melee guys down and a lot of times the demons would only come up like a few at a time so I had all my melee dwarves sitting outside of town but wouldn't you know one stupid dwarf which is, it happens all the time had a rock in his hand and he freaking wouldn't drop it and he was trying to get away and he almost got to the damn fortress too <laughs> but a demon got him and killed him so then one of my uh, melee dwarfs decides oh I gotta go get this freaking dead body I was like are you kidding me so he w wanders down into this cavern to get the dead body of course he gets ripped apart by all the demons coming out of freaking hell so then what do you think happens now two dwarves have to go get a dead body so Two of the melee dwarves left their stations to go get dead bodies. Them two died. Now four of them went get, to go down. And after like ten of them started going down, I was like, geez, I guess I have to try to fight them in a straight up battle. And it, and it was in like a hall like this where it wasn't much room. And we actually did pretty good. I think there was, I counted it, there was 80 or 90 demons. And I had 160 melee dwarves, man. And we... By the time it was all said and done, there was like five or six demons left, and they killed all 160 of my dwarves. Which it was, like I said, it was a close battle. If they would have freaking stuck to the plan, we would have won. Like, I could have won easily, you know what I mean? But no, we had to go down and get that stupid dwarf. <laughs> yeah, that's how this game goes, though. Alright, what am I doing here? Let's, uh, we're also going to build a floor right across here. Yeah, that's my little, one little story I did with it. A few other times I uh, tried this, the same type of stuff would happen. Just one little thing would happen and you would screw up your plan. Which, you know, that's just how it goes. Like when you're fighting the demons from hell, you gotta have everything fall in place really, really well. If you don't, you're as good as dead. So hopefully this time we can get something good to happen but the plan here is once we get dug down we'll put a drawbridge up here then we're gonna dig hmm. so they might be able to fly up in here so we're probably gonna have to put a bridge up here too or something gonna have to think about that I might wall it off I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wall it off here we'll dig a one tile area all the way around this and fortify it 
make it fortifications, and then we can shoot down into here. And then we'll just let the the demons come. And what you do is the way you lure them out is you build lots and lots of like furniture stuff. Like usually, I would just build like a whole bunch of like armor stands out of rock or something, which we'll probably use in all them weapon stands that weapon racks. I mean. That stupid uh, Baroness keeps wanting. Yeah, look at that. More weapon racks. How about that? Shocking that my Baron wants. She's not a Baron anymore. What is she? A Duke? The Duchess? Wants wep weapon racks. A million of them. Gee, great. You know, I might as well make ten of them. Oh, what do we got? No, you're not getting our truck. Yeah, I'll just make them out of Gabbro since we seem to have a million of it. I didn't know I had that much freaking Gabbro laying around. But that's like, if you ever see this rock, it means you're really deep into the earth. It usually is deep down in there. Usually you can find gold in, it, in with it, but I haven't been able to find any. That's what I dug this for originally. To find me some gold. Supposedly there's gold on this embark somewhere. I haven't found any yet. It made it difficult too because usually I rely on finding that gold to help furnish for like the queens and stuff, but it got not being able to find it. I had to use steel and I just uh, engraved the hell out of everything. Engraving works pretty good for making yourself rich or make a room rich anyway. With the demands of the queen are like outrageous sometimes. Well, they royal everything. It's kind of hard to get royal stuff. Like I found for every reason mausoleum seemed to be easy to get to be royal, but the rest of these are hard. Then they need what the heck is it? Five weapon racks, five armor stands, ten chests, five cabinets. It's unbelievable amount of crap they want. And they are royal, yeah. So it is the queen. I understand. But yeah, once we get this ready, we'll just fill this whole freaking place up with as many weapon racks as we can. So they, what it does is it keeps them coming in. They're building destroyers, so whenever they see a weapon rack or any kind of furniture, they'll come and try to t topple it. You know what I mean? Yeah, this looks plenty doable. I'm just going to do this in preparation. I'm not going to tell him to actually do it yet. There we go. I tell you what, I always, a lot of people, the real veterans of this game, like the, what are they called? ASCUII graphics, which is just all like tech stuff, but I really like the graphics bags. I think they did a really good job on the, uh, graphics packs for the steam version man I think is getting the guy's name is Kit Fox I believe that's what his name is and he did an excellent excellent job for Mr. Tootie also the other thing too about this is the new soundtrack is freaking amazing I know I'm not the only one I absolutely love that tavern and industry song it just it rocks. I don't know what it is about it. It's an awesome song. Come on, dwarves. Dig, dig, dig. Haven't had any uh, alerts here coming up lately. That's weird. What are we getting? 59, 60 FPS? It's pretty decent for a big four. On my old computer, man, I get a four this big. It would freaking get down to like five to 20. <laughs> See your dwarves like crawling. But it's funny though when you play a fort for a long time, you get used to the slower pace of it, and then all of a sudden, hey, there's the Duchess. How you doing, Duchess? She's my best miner and my best engraver. That's why she got the job. But you'll start up a new game, and uh, everybody's flying around. You're like, holy crap, I can't even keep up. I hope we're finally out of gems, huh? I have to find some new ones to uh, dig up. 
Let's auto mine these few gems. Always like you always want to have a few rough ones laying around for your, your uh, moody dwarfs. That should be enough. We don't need a whole lot of them. Might have to dig. Just, just dig a nice little hallway right down here. Oh nope, I want all. But this way we can cut off a little bit of walking time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make this, the furniture that we're gonna put in here out of this gab row stuff so we can get rid of a bunch of it. Would like to, what we're gonna do right now is rock crafts we'll do 200 of them and we'll make them out of that gabbro that'll help get rid of a bunch of them too and you see here I started in year 5 so we're up to year 14 so it's, four, it's not really that old yet best I ever did I always like to start the year 5 for some reason just one thing it, it helps your FPS a lot because there's not a lot going on in the background but it'll slow down as time goes. I made it to year like 87 the one time before I got bored with the, the world. That was the furthest I ever got as far as coming right out of this place. I may even did 100 years one time. But nothing like special really happened. Goblin attacks. But once you get like five, six years in, your dwarves can be like masters. I have a whole bunch right now. We'll go take a look at them. Of course, I don't know what's going on here in the game here lately, but they're all like, he's just a regular one. There we go. There's the spear master, sword master, an axe lord, spear master, an axe lord. Oh yeah, we're ready for battle, baby. All these guys here, they are. They need some more time. What is he up to? Adequate Mark Dwarf. He ain't got nothing. What the hell you been doing, buddy? He's a skilled sword dwarf, but we got him <laughs> as an adequate mark, mark dwarf right now. This guy doesn't even have any. He probably does, it just doesn't show because he's better at other stuff. This guy doesn't have anything either. There's a mark dwarf. Proficient mark dwarf, we'll take that. Let's check on our ammunition stocks here, though. We might have to make a whole bunch more. Yeah, we're running a little low on that stuff. Oh, let's check our stocks. Got a whole crap ton of overall, but most of that's uh, Coke and whatchamacallit. Um, charcoal. Yeah, I see it all laying around there. All right. Let's make some bolts for the coming nonsense. And let's make 50 of them. Now every time you make one bolt, it makes 25. So that's what? 10 is 250, so that's 250, 500, 250, 1,000, 1,250 bolts. I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll hopefully it's enough. War dog, what are you fighting, war dog? Ran into something. Also, I have we're probably gonna put these cages. I got a few little, a couple of troglodytes and a troll there. We're gonna put those those into that. We're gonna put those into that uh, kill box too, so they can help distract the the demons as they come up. Sorry for all the spoilers anybody didn't want to see it, but I'm going to put that into the title so that people know that there's going to be spoilers this episode. Hey, what'd you do, buddy? Export prohibition. <laughs> I don't know why he got it. <laughs> I guess we weren't supposed to get rid of those books. Screw it. You sure as heck ain't putting the queen in jail. She's the one that sold him. <laughs> He's probably the one that brought him to the 
to the uh, what should we call it trade depot. And I always hate they freaking take forever to get this stuff over here. I went through my fort and just assigned a crap ton of people as haulers and still ain't enough. I don't like seeing that equipment mismatches. They should have all their stuff. Let's check here. Yeah, he's got a crossbow. He's got a quiver. He's got a steel mail. And does he have his helmet? Yep, steel helmet. Besides that uh, aluminium, though, the steel is the best thing you can get. Usually for the Addy, you want to make weapons out of it. You don't want to bother making armor because it costs too much. I think it's everything's triple the cost of what it normally would take to build it. So if it takes one bar, normally it would take three bars of aluminium. And I think a breastplate and mail takes three normally so what would that take nine Addy I'm not sure on that there don't quote me on that kind of stuff read any more books here lately nothing yet pretty sure I got a whole bunch of uh, scholars in there though yep there's an axe dwarf I was hoping he might make us a uh, fighting manual or something I know at one time, if they would make like a fighting manual, it would. The troll was fighting. I should have kept that up. I missed what he was doing. But at one time, if they read something like a farming manual or a combat manual, they would gain some skill into that. They'd become like a novice or, novice or whatever. You guys still making our stuff? Yeah, we're still making some steel. Yep, to hydrolite and some coal. Probably don't need to do the coal anymore, but never really have too much. Although, dare I say it, I think I might have too much. <laughs> it's all just like sprayed everywhere on the floor. Might have to make some more iron bins here. Maybe we'll make some copper ones, I don't know. I'm not going to bother wasting the wood, which I don't have a wood stockpile. I just am letting it all lay on the surface. It's light enough that your guys can drag it down. I'm not very far down. And negative three. If you're really far down there, you'll want to make a... Uh, you'll want to make a stockpile for wood so they don't have to go all the way to the surface. Why is there a rough of... How do you say that? Rough -er, er meat? in the freaking weapon stockpile pretty sure everybody has steel weapons too you got a steel battle axe? you sure do buddy steel spear he's stressed though So I said that, I don't know what it is about the smart, we see all the little unhappy faces coming up. It's, the guys in the military now always go freaking unhappy. It used to be they would go unhappy for a while and then they would get like hardened to it. You know what I mean? Like eventually they would not care anymore. All right, I'm scroll out here some. Got all these hives, I'm gonna see if I can find a beehive out here. However, there was a dragon attack a while ago and which we handled that dragon like he was a chump. However, he burned the whole freaking, this whole freaking area, everything was burned up. So it probably burned the beehives up with it. I don't know if new ones will come or not. Doesn't look good, I don't see any. With all this crap on the screen, it's hard to see. There was one right here. It was like right in here somewhere. There's some termites. There's termites, there gotta be honey around somewhere. Any honey up here? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Colony of honeybees. Yay! Oh no, we want workshops, farming, hive. I'm gonna put one hive right there. Then we're gonna put rest of the hives down here somewhere closer put them eh, right here looks like a good spot one two 
three, four, five. And I like to make them fives in a row, and then I make another row of five. But man, I tell you what, food hasn't been a problem in this place. If you ever want to have plenty of food, put your uh, place in a mirthful biome. That's what I did. I just did it for the heck of it, just for a nice easy fort. It turned out as well as expected. If you want to challenge yourself, though, you want to put it somewhere close to goblins. And if you want a real challenge, put it in a freaking terrifying or haunted biome or something like that. So I tried a couple of the haunted ones. I got made some prog progress. The one I probably could have. Oh, we don't want to destroy the hive. There we go. All the other ones can be gather but I did pretty good on the one but I just couldn't quite get it going it says poor soil sorry we don't really I don't know why this one here won't freaking grow. Pump pound is insane. We have the seeds. But I got that one fertilized and this one to be fertilized. Now, if they're actually doing it or not, I can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea if they're actually doing it or not. I think they would uh, say something about it. I haven't. Humanoid composed of ash. Usually, if they're made of something like that, it's real easy. Bad spot. If it's in 90s to 100, that's the one that's all the way at the bottom. They might be able to get in there, but I don't think this guy can. Let's see if he runs into the other one. See a nice forgotten beast battle? I know there's at least one other fire, uh, forgotten beast in here somewhere. Uh, troll. <laughs> I don't see any uh, combat messages. He's trying to get him. Get that troll. Let's see what he was doing to him. <laughs> he slammed into an obstacle and hurt himself more than the freaking forgotten beast couldn't hit him. <laughs> Stupid troll. What are you trying to do, Mr. Troll? Oh, he's trying to breathe poison on him. I don't even know if you can poison a troll. Screw you, Baroness or Duchess. We're watching a forgotten beast. He's going crazy looking for that troll, though. The troll's running for his life. He's like, I don't want no part of you, buddy. <laughs> things. Forgotten bees punch a troll in his left hand with his left hand and injured part explodes, explodes in the gore. <laughs> so he hit him with his left hand into the troll's left hand and he made his fucking hand disappear. Oh, Forgotten bees bites the troll in the head and the injured part collapse. Yeah, that was it for Mr. Troll. Let's see, where the heck are we at here? Let's go check out our kill box down here. Alright, well, it looks like it's about ready. Um, oh, I see. How are we gonna do this? We'll just do it like that. Let's see what happens. If not, we're gonna have to do all of this and then build a wall around it. Damn dwarves never make anything easy on you. Looks like they're on their way pretty fast though. 
That's right, dwarves. Queen wanted some aluminium, so let's go get some. I forget what the lowest level, normal level you get to is like about 120 or so. I think it's different on every map though, but we're right about there right now. Got a couple miners coming, go get them. Is there a guy and a girl? Dogs fighting something. Little giant cave swallows. They're the only thing that can get into the fort because they can fly. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to dig this whole side out because they're not gonna be able to do it without it. Almost screwed it up. Now, yeah, what do we got here? So we got to smooth all of this. Hmm. I don't think I don't have to cut that one open, but we'll do it anyway. Screw it. Once I cut these ones here, it should just fall. All this should just fall right down in. Hopefully no one's down there when it collapses. Oh, well, apparently I was wrong with that. What, what the heck's holding it up? Hmm, could be that slope right there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell them to just dig that and we're going to build floors all the way across there. Oh, we should only have to do one, right? Yep, keep on smoothing dwarves. And once you build, if you build actual walls, you don't have to smooth it. Some sapphires, another axe lord. We're gonna get all the freaking good fighters we can get. No one made it down yet to put our our uh, floor down. Sure, he's on his way though. Hmm. I'm thinking too, I'm gonna have to do one right here as well. So let's. What do we got here? Carve these two out. This is two, right? Crap. Might have to make this bigger. We'll wait till they finish this out before we go at it. Because what happens is there, like sometimes your gap will appear when you put your bridge down. So you need to be inside one. Yep, come get on mine, boys. Nothing you do in this game ever is uh, fast. <laughs> what have we got here? Craft door possessed.
not sure. Oh, we can't mine it from below. Okay. All right. So, what do I want to do next? Let's start working on that. What sucks here is you gotta tell them to do each one one at a time. I have no idea what's going to happen when we dig into this either. If it's actually going to be here, we're probably going to have to dig down one or two blocks. Oh, we got it. That was quick. Come back and do another one. So I gotta do here and here. I gotta make both of these open. Or at least one, these ones. Here comes somebody finally. Probably partying down the end, they don't wanna leave. <laughs> Amulets and weapon racks, geez. All them uh, crafts we're making, now we'll get the amulets out of that. What are you doing, dwarves? The old Duchess is coming to do it for us. She's like bald or something. Got like the bare minimum stuff on. Might need to make some more gloves. Looks like everybody's running out of gloves. Oh god, she's probably gonna want something now. Maybe she'll come back for it? No. Human Pike, man, how you doing, buddy? Oh, someone's coming. It's not her, though. It takes him forever to get down here because it's such a far walk. We're also going to have to mine a little bit more out right here. this area too we can't freaking dig into there with the lava of course we could make a nice little trap for the the demons just dump lava on their asses <laughs> I don't want to do that though because it'll be paying the ass to clean it up hello Miss Miner let's see who this is Bear Eklazenzon how you doing, miss? Looks like you got all the bare minimum stuff on, too. Once your fort starts getting old, that's what everybody only has whatever you built for them, and that's it. Get rid of that 
floor at some point. Ah, uh, there we go. I knew there was a way to do it. Most likely that floor is holding all this up, so hopefully when I get rid of it, it'll fall. It might not, though. We'll have to just do it again. Oh, no, War Dog's dead. Everybody makes out about masterpieces anymore, too. That's awesome. Once he removes this, we're probably going to call this an episode. We'll make you guys watch all the rest of this. There we go, it fell. Oh god, she fell too. I won't say anything until she gets back. Oh, she got back up on her own. That worked though. <laughs> oh, what else do we want here? Right here. Take both of those out. All right, we're gonna call this an episode. When we come back, hopefully we'll be ready to do this thing. It'll be a little bit yet, though.